नित्यं शुद्धम निराभाषम निराकारम निरंजनम नित्यबोधम चिदानंदम गुरुर् ब्रह्मा नमाम्यहम् माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स ऑफ दिस अर्थ प्लेनेट इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ ग्रेट हैप्पीनेस फॉर मी that we are assembled here to talk something about a spiritual paradigm for surmounting global management crisis. When we think about management crisis, I am reminded with one of the quotation given by by my master, Sri Sri Anand Murthy Ji. I feel whatever problem at present this earth planet is facing in different arena, in different sphere of human life, that solution is lying in this quotation. Whatever I am going to speak within the short span of time, I would like to draw your attention. I am not going to tell any story here, not any philosophy. Whatever the things which I am going to deliver, that is to practice in personal and collective life for the betterment and benevolment of the individual and collective body. So that quotation is, in the transitional period of civilization, honesty in individual life is a prime necessity. Honesty. So we shall have to remain ever vigilant that the darkness of the self-petty interest may not shroud this spiritual treasure, supreme treasure. With the very extension of honesty, civilization too will not survive. The long sadhana spiritual practice of human race will go in vain and all the intellectual achievements will become meaningless. The book knowledge which cannot be translated, cannot be practiced in life has no value. Has no value. In present society we are talking so many things, but when the question of practice comes, we fail to practice in our personal life and collective life. We are talking so much, but we don't practice. We preach so much, but we don't practice, we fail to practice. And I should say, everyone knows, practice makes a man perfect. Theory cannot change, nor individual, nor society. It is practice and practice alone that will make a big change in society and personal life. So, we talk about any crisis, not only management crisis. I should say, if you know how to manage yourself, you will be able to manage any organization, any institution, any problem. Any problem. 
provided if you know how to manage yourself. We talk about personality development. We talk about so many things. But what do you mean by really personality development? What do you mean by how to manage yourself? I should say human expression is trifarious in its character. It is trifarious. That is the physical sphere, psychic sphere and spiritual sphere. Physical, psycho, spiritual. Physical, psycho, spiritual. When you talk about spirituality today in 21st century, people consider that we follow religion in our life. And then let me tell you clearly, there is no spirituality at all at present in society. If at all anything is there in the name of spirituality, that is only ritual, ritual, ritual. We follow only rituals in society. No spirituality in society. Because society, spirituality does not know the barrier of caste, creed, color, nationality and sex. It does not know the barrier. But only just by saying it will not come in life. People are reading in the books, in Dharma Shastra, that we should not hurt anybody, we should not tell lie, we should not steal. I mean moral codes. That is morality. But when there is a question of practice, the moment they close the book, their morality also closes with the closing books. Again they start doing all kinds of things which is harming society, harming individual, harming collective body, harming the whole country and nation and finally the earth planet. They find so helpless. But I should say, spirituality, spiritual practice is such a unique process. Even a robber can be converted into a saint. Especially in India, people must have heard the story of Ratnakar. He was a great dacoit. He came in contact with one saint and he became such a great personality known as Bal Miki. There are so many examples. I was also serving Indian Air Force. I know about myself, who am I, who I was. After learning meditation, coming in contact with Anand Mark, what a big change, transformation took place in myself. And then last for 25 years, I am serving the living world. It's a matter of practice and practice and practice. I should say perfect practice makes a person perfect. There are so many practices are there. Now it has become the fashion to talk about, oh, I have joined that meditation club. I have joined this organization. That is meditation, spirituality. But I am really very sorry. Action reveals the character of a man. What you are, your life style will tell. That is why it has been said, Action speaks more than the words. Action speaks more than the words. What you are, your lifestyle will certainly send so many messages. It will tell clearly who you are. Whether you have love for the suffering humanity, for the suffering world, whether living or non-living, it will tell only when you put in practice. Put in practice. That is why it's a unique process. It does not know any religion. I should say religion is the collection of all kinds of ism. And ism is the collection of all kinds of dogmatic views. That is why we differ from each other. I should say people say with proud, here Swamiji I prefer to differ. Where there is a universalism, there is no any differences. We know only one, that this is the cosmic society. We are all the brothers and the sisters of one cosmic father. We belong to one family. We belong to one family. If this feeling in practice it comes in your life, 
whom you are going to mislead, whom you are going to tell lie, whom you are going to cheat. Certainly not. But it is there only in the book. It has not come in our practice. That is why we are having so many problems in individual life and collective life. So I said that human expression is triferious in its character. That is the physical expression, how to train our physical expression, how to purify and sanctify our puri uh, physical expression, that is the physical body. So there are certain things by doing some yoga exercise, taking pure vegetarian food, and then observing some periodical fasting will sanctify your body. And then again, what, how you are going to purify your mind? Not with the soap, which we are using to cleanse your body. Certainly, to purify your mind, to sanctify your mind, there is some subtler soap is required. So, that subtler soap is in the form of spiritual practice. Given by the real master. I should say, if soap is powerful, certainly it will cleanse your dust, dirt from your clothes. Same way, if the spiritual practice is the perfect practice, there will be unique transformation in a human being. I already told you that even a decoyate can be transformed in a gentleman, in a saint. This is such a process. So that is why for a spiritual practice, although the base is that is morality, without morality we cannot practice spirituality. We cannot, this whole day you keep on cheating and looting the people. And then evening you close your eyes and practice meditation, it is highly impossible. Highly impossible. That is why if your mind is engaged in some good pious work, auspicious work, and then with that mind, when you sit for meditation, it is certainly helpful to have better concentration, meditation, ideation, contemplation. So, I should say, this moral, morality is the paramount in our day-to-day's life. If anybody is interested, they can go for spiritual practice, learn spiritual practice. I should say there are some measuring rods. And then again I told the action, is, action reveals the character of a man. Measuring rod means where there is no barrier, no barrier of any caste, creed, color. You talk about that you don't have faith in caste. At the same time, you are not ready to give your daughter to any other caste. So you are a number one hypocrite. The society is full of hypocrites. They talk so many things. But at the time of practice, they will start sweating. So that the dogmatic views are so much in the society that we are suffering so much. There is so much suffocation in society. And one more thing I should say, that there is, where is the uh, purpose tree karnam, where there is a scarcity in life, then also the people are compelled, they are forced to commit some sins. And where there is abundance, where there is over accumulation, there also the mind will engage in so many kinds of uh, rubbish activities. And then third reason is where there is a dogmatic view prevailing and existing in the society, then also people, they don't have the developed mind to understand what is real, what is right, what is wrong. And in the name of religion, in the name of so many social, uh, they will commit so, so many social evils in society. So that is why spiritual practice is such a unique process, my dear brothers and sisters. If you practice it, certainly you will find that your mind is so much sanctified and purified, there you realize who is there in you, he is there in everything. He is there in every atoms, molecules, positron and quark of the universe. The same entity who is guiding you, he is guiding the whole universe. And everybody in the form of a human being, plants, animals, birds, they are all our family members, they are all our family members. 
there that will realize in the inner casket of our mind then and only then one man problem will be the everyone's problem and we would like to share the problem of others we will feel happy when we meet others then and only then there will be so much a transformation in human mind so that is why it is high time if you are really want to humble appeal that you come in contact learn spiritual practice perfect spiritual practice and then i told you that where there is a perfect spiritual practice certainly there will be a great change within yourself and you can realize within yourself that how transformations are taking place how your how your attitude temperament behavior everything is changing slowly and then i should say not only that it it has got so much power suppose in beginning you are not very much strong in morality moral codes slowly if you start doing practice then slowly slowly you will see there will be so much changes that morally also will become very strong if you are addicted of any things in your life slowly and gradually you will see that you will develop such a mind there will be such a transformation that you cannot tolerate even its smell of those things which you used to take regularly in your life there will be so much transformation so in real sense in true sense of the term i should say spiritual practice practice and practice alone practice alone and then again i told you morality is the base of life until unless morality comes in human life nothing can be changed on this earth talk about any problem because of that there is a greed there is a so much hopelessness disappointment and then we are busy in exploiting each other i should say all big fishes they are eating small fishes same thing happening in your organization in the country in the state everywhere it is happening why because this human mind is so complex until unless it is given proper training we can't even realize in our life that this whole human society belongs to one it is one human society that is the cosmic society human society but when we start practicing you will see and then there is a transformation takes place when the real realization comes in human life all kinds of exploitation on this earth that will disappear slowly and there will be such a divine uh, climate congenial atmosphere where you will feel that i should say that there is only one god there is only one human society there is only one family human family and there you will live peacefully with happiness and we feel proud of ourselves that our life is blessed meaningful and significant having the human frame and this is the human frame i realize my master who has given the life so i feel that uh, this much is enough in this meeting i wish you all the best i wish sms that they organize uh, such a created good platform where at least we can talk about spirituality and uh, thanks everybody for present hearing and then i express my uh, good wishes to everybody wish you all the best good health namaskar